The Honourable Member for Hamilton Mountain. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative record for workers is abysmal, attacking seasonal workers, temporary foreign workers, construction workers, and the worst is yet to come. The Conservatives' omnibus budget bill gives the Minister carte blanche to make unilateral changes to employment insurance. If we can't even trust the Conservatives with public legislation, how on earth can we trust them behind closed doors? Here, here. And the Minister of Human Resources. Well, Mr. Speaker, one thing we know that we can't trust is the NDP when it comes to creating jobs for Canadian workers. Every single thing that we brought in to help those who've been laid off get new jobs, keep those jobs, to support them while they're looking for them, Mr. Speaker, the NDP has voted against us. Mr. Speaker, we're lowering, we're, we've introduced a tax EI credit for small business to create jobs. They vote against that. Mr. Speaker, we're trying to help Canadians get back to work by connecting them with jobs that are available in their areas. They're voting against it. Why won't they stand up for Canadian workers? Mr. Speaker, the Minister sure seems proud of an embarrassing record, but she forgets two key facts. One, we will always vote against Conservative budgets that don't get the job done. And two, the blocks workers who paid into it, not to that Minister. The Minister refuses to meet with Canadians, listen to their representatives, or hold any consultations outside the PMO. Will the Minister stop using the Budget Bill to give herself new powers to undermine EI? The Honourable Minister of Human Resources. Mr. Speaker, that is, that is utter fabrication. Indeed, I and many of my colleagues have met with Canadians right across the country. We've listened. We've heard. People want help getting back to work. They want to make their families better off. Employers right across the country are looking for workers who quite often are discouraged from working because of the current structure of the EI system. We're changing that because we want these workers to get, have better access to jobs so they're better off, the families are better off, their employers are better off. That makes the country better off all around. Yeah.